All right, War Robots fans, this is Bag of Soup coming at you with a special video today. Uh, we're talking about the Tempest, the Heavy Molot. And the Tempest uh, has taken a long time to actually get into the game. We were looking at it last fall, 2016. It disappeared for a while. Then it came back to the test servers with the full redesign and the new name in the spring of 2017. Finally, uh, July 4th on Apple, we got it. I had been testing it out in the spring on a variety of setups, but I had really hyped the Lancelot Tempest as my favorite setup. Uh, now, I finally got the uh, Tempest uh, July 4th and wasn't super impressed with it, but they made some changes, and I've been leveling it up now, as you can see. And I'm proud to say I really enjoy it now. So we're going to uh, look at some highlights from a couple battles with the Lancelot Tempest. And I'm joined here by my uh, boys here. We've got uh, Bags to Riches, which is Matthew. And we've got Cup of Soup, which is Thomas. How are y'all doing, guys? Good. All right, so we're here on Canyon. We just dropped in, and uh, I finally got my Tempest up to level 11, which is about the same as my other um, uh, uh, guns. I got my Molots up to 11 and 10. we got to back off, and we'll talk about the strengths and weaknesses of this setup. Uh, but when I first got it, guys, I wasn't really impressed with the um, Tempest, and I think there's a couple of reasons why. I think, number one, I wasn't used to running in that range, uh, you know, be between 600 and 800 uh, meters is a tricky range on certain maps. Number two, my, my Tempest and uh, Molots just weren't super leveled up yet, so I really wasn't seeing a lot of damage. And number three, uh, the Tempest just got a buff. Um, the other day in our newest update just a couple of days ago and that little extra buff really made the difference uh, to bring that much more damage in uh, so now I'm really starting to like it and we can check out the uh, Lancelot Tempest here on um, the uh, Canyon map so uh, Thomas here cup of soup uh, if you ran a Tempest what would your favorite setup be to run it on uh, I was thinking like a a shoots tempest. Okay, a shoots tempest. Uh, speaking of which, you know, we're talking here specifically about the Lancelot tempest. Uh, but if you want to see what the tempest would be like on multiple setups, I would recommend check out Stupendous's video. He made a pretty comprehensive video showing off everything from the um, Carnage tempest to the Leo Geckos tempest, talking about the shoots tempest. Uh, all sorts of setups. I'm going to put a link to his video in the description. It was really well done. He did a great job. Um, once again, this is still my favorite setup. And the reason is, is I love the frontal shield on the Lancelot. Uh, that means that if you're back beyond 600 meters, which is real important, uh, so you don't get hit by uh, mid-range splash rocket damage, nothing can really hurt you beyond 600 meters uh, especially energy weapons like, um, of course, Zeus, but beyond 600 meters, geckos and trebuchets. They could technically eventually wear you down, but uh, hopefully they wouldn't if you're uh, real careful. Uh, now, I will say that Molots can be a danger to you because they uh, sh uh, have a little bit of spread at that range and can kind of shoot all around your shield, so you have to be careful for that. Of course, that also means you can damage other Lancelots. So, uh, Max of Riches, what would your favorite setup be for the Tempest? Um, Raijin. Okay, you like the Raijin. Once again, it also has the, the frontal physical shield, which is great. My only concern with the Raijin, though, uh, as cool as it is, is because uh, it has good movement being a spider bot. It can move back and forth. It's a little slower speed, uh, and you have to stop in place to get that physical shield going, so a sniper might be able to hit you before you can stop moving and put that shield up. And I do like the Lance because you can just turn your shield any direction at any time and use the speed boost here like I'm doing. Um, also, keep in mind, uh, one of the reasons I wasn't enjoying the uh, Lancelot Tempest in the past weeks was because they weren't hardly doing any damage to Ancelots. Uh, Lancelots with the Ancel Shield. And you've already seen in this video I've been able to take out a couple of Ancelots by taking down their shield and then getting some damage into them and that's because of the buff. The Tempest got a 20-25% uh, buff and so did the Molots and that's a big deal. That extra damage really, as you can see, really helps take down those Ansel shields like Fujin and Lancelot a lot better uh, than before. So this setup's definitely working better. 
I think now that I've gotten up to le level 11 weapons, that's really helped. And here on this battle, we're able to take out a lot of uh, mid-range guys uh, while uh, staying out of the range or the damage area of the geckos and trebs on the other side. Matter of fact, the only damage guys I've taken was when we got too close early in the battle and got hit by some mid-range rockets. Yeah. Uh, so you got to be careful for that. Uh, man, this setup looks mean and scary too. Uh, but we've taken on a variety of bots here. As you can see, we've taken on some griffins that were jumping, some ancelots, taken on some fast-moving bots. I think that guy's uh, about to be toasted too. Uh, we've obviously got some help, uh, but man, this setup's good. You also have to learn how to lead your target. You know, geckos can just lock on and shoot straight. So can the trebuchet. Um, you've got, you know, some splash damage uh, radius that you can do with mid-range rockets. But with Molots, uh, if it's a fast-moving bot, if it's moving left to right, uh, if it's jumping, you're going to have to lead the target ahead. Now look at the damage we're doing to this um, Galahad. He doesn't have a shield up because he's watching for rockets, and we're able to take him out right before he takes us out. Uh, so that was a good start on Canyon Map. We ended up doing pretty good there. Uh, here was another ma uh, match, just actually a, a match or two later. I jumped in with my buddy I Like Rocks from Easy Company. Uh, shout out to Easy Clan. They're cool. Easy C. And um, I jumped in once again on the longer map with my uh, Lancelot Molots, or my Molance. And uh, we're going to uh, try to go over to the left side bridge. You know, the, the key with this spot is knowing where to place it on different maps. That's actually pretty difficult. Uh, you kind of got to work on that. Uh, if I was on the other side, I would be on that far right bridge. But on this side, I go to the far left bridge. And it tends to provide a lot more cover, and then you can drop down or from the side if you need to. So let's take a look at how the uh, Molance does here. Uh, we got a guy at 700 range. Of course, our max range is 800. Uh, man, that guy looks like a little ant from here. We can't even see what he is hardly. Uh, but we know if his energy bar is going down, we're, we're, we're hitting him here. We're also taking some guys out at Center Beacon, uh, which is helpful uh, to cover our team. So this is not a bad spot. And if I need to get closer, I can go up on the left to the ramp there, take some guys out. So which which of you boys wants to run the shoots with the Tempest? Me. Okay, cup of soup. Well, now why would you run a shoots Tempest? Tell me about that. Because he is kind of fast, and because Tempest does have a new buff, right? Uh, the Tempest does have the buff and it helps, but man, would you want to run a bot with only one gun on it? What do you think? Wait, sometimes I run a Cossack. A Cossack? Look at that, man. We have taken that guy down um, hugely before he even got under center beacon there. We're going to come around the side and try to hit that um, uh, sniper way far on the far bridge. That's a fury over there we're going to work on. Plus, if anyone comes down the bridge at us, they're going to have to run through a hail of bullets to get to us. So look at, at, at over 700 meters how we're starting to take that uh, fury down. He didn't expect anybody would have the range to reach him uh, and also uh, be um, protected. Like there's a guy shooting geckos on the other side, and he can't even shoot through our shields anyway. So from this position, we can hit that far ramp. We can hit to the left down the long hallway. We can also hit guys coming up the ramp. Of course, we have to watch out for splash damage and rockets. Uh, and so I'm backing off uh, whenever I can to use that bridge for protection. Oh, no. Uh, but, yeah, we're able to control most of the map uh, from here. And, and there's that gecko guy, another guy up there we're working on as well. Uh, so this uh, really, really, really worked out for us well on the amount Um I found a good spot on, on Shenzhen in the city. Found good spots on Canyon on Springfield, on Yamantau. Uh, power plant's tricky. Sometimes you have to work down the long hallways or the hill. Dead City, you have to work down those long alleyways. We're working on that Fury again. Across the way. And look, guys, here comes a Rhino up the bridge. Uh, we're going to try to shoot at him from the side. And then once again, we back off behind cover in case he looks at us to fire. Um, oh, no, got now look at there. that. Now there is an Ansel Shield guy. Looks like a Carnage or somebody who's getting taken down. Hard to tell from here. Um, we'll, we'll take a, a closer look, but look at his Ansel shield go down as I start to work on him, and then we try to finish off that Fury finally. Um, 
No one else on our team would have been able to take that guy out. But with our protected physical shield and getting across the bridge, we were able to. Now, if any guys want revenge on me, they've got to come down the long hallway, and they are going to get nailed. Um, um, except for that jumpy guy. Yeah, that jumpy guy is trying to jump above. But look at this guy. This is a Galahad or, um, is getting nailed. Um, before he can even get close to us. As a matter of fact, he's probably going to have to ditch off to the side to avoid our hail of bullets. So, of course, we want to reload. And here's the cool thing about this spot, too, is we can look over both sides to shoot. Uh, just in case we got some guys trying to um, uh, go down that, that far uh, left side there to grab our uh, home beacon. And we can still hit center from here, which is great. And once again, that buff helped us to work through Ansel Shields. Look at this. We're taking out two guys over here. Uh, Thunder, uh, Carnage Thunder also. So we're going to reload our guns, and we've got these guys kind of trying to flank us. Uh, we're Also, did you see how we are able to run off from uh, danger there? We had a guy shooting us from the back. We are able to outrun him, and uh, we are able to ambush these. So this is just a great spot on this map for the Lance Tempest. So let's talk about the, uh, let's take these guys out. Let's talk real quick about the cost. This is a 5,000 gold robot so it does cost money but most people have at least one lancelot and i did run an ansel terrans on mine i really loved it but this setup i found out is as valuable to me as that ancelot lately uh, for different maps and so i don't mind using my lance for either setup uh, whenever i want to i can just put the ansel and terrans on or this uh so uh i would say if you're gonna run a setup you know the fury is 5,000 gold too but has no physical shield I would much rather spend my 5,000k on this. Uh, and once again, we're going to get taken out here by splash damage uh, after six minutes of taking down that team. We ended up getting over 800,000 damage in that battle. It was great. So that was a look, guys, at the Lancelot Tempest. It wasn't super great when I first got it, but with the recent buff to the Tempest and leveling it up and learning where and how and when to use it, it's become much more effective. So guys, um, uh, out there, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please click like if you did. Give that Lance Tempest a try. Or check Stupendous' video for other setups you can run. Well, bags of riches and cup of soup. Let's say bye to everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye. All right, guys, we hope you have a great, great. War Robots Day. Day.